Hi, my name is Bata Lipska and in this tutorial I will show you how to use Key Value Store in Justice. And Justice is a prototype of Smart Rollup based on JavaScript runtime and you will learn how to compile and use the local sandbox to test out all the smart functions that we're gonna write in our files and yeah then we're gonna use them as a regular smart contracts so yeah let's jump straight in all right so first of all we need to start from uh, using our terminal and just let's start the uh, sandbox so we need to type jstz sandbox start so what's happening now? First of all, you need to make sure that your Docker is up and running because we are using Docker here. And uh, yeah, as you can see, uh, we have a beautiful animation. And once it's done, um, you'll be able to see a few components of this uh, sandbox. So yeah. So first of all, we have an Octus node. Octa Smart Rollup node and uh, Justice node. And they all listening uh, on the same address, but different ports. And what we also have here is um, some addresses that uh, have already the, some XTZ uh, balance. So we have five um, addresses that are bootstrapped and we can for example use them to transfer some uh, XTZ to a new address or um, for example new alias that we just created so let's for example create an alias in next um, window so I'm going to create another window here so um, let's make it slightly bigger Okay, so now the next thing is to create um, my own account, yeah? So uh, let's say JSTZ uh, account create and then we can put any alias um, as we want. So let's say Bata Lipska, yeah? And as you can see, uh, the passphrase was created and this address is there. So what we want to do now is to transfer some XTZ from any bootstrap um, address to my one. So what I want to do is just to say JSTZ and then reach and then uh, deposit and then from bootstrap. Five to uh, Bata Lipska, and then um, next thing would be specifying the amount. Yep, amount, and it's gonna be let's say one more zero here, and uh, you need to also make sure that you always specify um, the network, which is um, literally the local development network. So let's give it a go. Boom. So deposit uh, is uh, has been sent and yeah, brilliant. So it did work. So next thing, we need to open our uh, favorite IDE and uh, let's run through the smart function that I wrote previously uh, to show you how um, we're gonna deploy it and how we're gonna run it. So yeah, let's literally go to our uh, to our examples. Yeah, maybe let's do it like this code. So let's have a look at our example. Uh, let's give it a go. And uh, we have the URL shortener um, here. Let's check out what's inside the index.ts. 
So we have like um, very simple utility um, function to generate a short code. Then we will store that short code um, in our uh, key value store. And yeah, what we're gonna do, we're gonna uh, just provide a very long URL and then replace it with a short code that was generated here. Um, and yeah, we will ask the key value store about the short code and it will bring up the long uh, URL. And if it's not found, then we're gonna return 404, which is specified here. If it was found, um, we're gonna just permanently change the headers with the status 301. All right, so first things first, we need to um, go to our examples URL shortener. And now we need to compile our smart function uh, from index.ts. So it's gonna be npm and we're gonna say run build. It took us just literally 20 milliseconds. So now we have our index.js um, and we want to deploy this specific file. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna Actually, I will move myself a little bit. Yeah, that's better. So now what we're gonna do, we will um, literally say JSTC, uh, and then we're gonna say deploy our compiled file. And you need to remember to um, specify the network, which is of course the dev. All right. So now, as you can see, this is the address and um, that helper is showing us how to use uh, the smart function, but we did specify our ways of using it. So we have the shortened endpoint and that we want to use to make uh, our long URL short. So, okay, so to make a good use of this, uh, we need to of course run JSTZ, run and then use this one from here. Uh, but then we will need to use the shorten uh, endpoint and we need to provide some data. So I already prepared the data. So the original URL will be uh, beata.com um, and then we will specify the network, of course, and this is the request that will post the data. So, um, yeah, let's give it a go. What will happen here? So as you can see, we run uh, the smart function with the shorten endpoint. So now we have the status code of 200, which is okay. And uh, to call beata.com, we will need to use this specific um, address. So what we're gonna do now is JSTZ run, but you also need to remember to specify the local uh, development. And then we'll see what will happen. And now, as you can see, that the status code is 301, and that means that um, the headers were moved uh, to a new location. That was my original URL. Okay, so that's it for that video. All the links with the code are in the description down below. So make sure that you check out our justice repo. Feel free to contribute, it's open source. And yeah, see you in the next one. Bye.